Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. During this lesson, you will learn how to import PLT CFG settings files into a pen table, how to use ProjectWise Interplot design scripts, how to create and edit Interplot settings files, how to convert a binary settings file into an ASCII text file, how to create various rendition output components and profiles for your printing needs, how to predefine the ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders, and how to print AutoCAD files with MicroStation. So from this course, you'll be able to select any particular CAD file or files, right-click on them, and choose Create Rendition. After this course is completed, you will have various profiles at your disposal that end users can choose between, and those choices at the profile level will dictate the four sub-profile components and how they behave. So for example, we could switch between, say, our black and white 11 by 17 profile to the black and white D size sheets, and you'll notice that the presentation setting alters between profiles. We can also decide the naming convention so that we have the correct default profile naming for those files that are generated as far as PDFs are concerned based on the naming style or naming convention that we want to use when we print. We can produce various destination locations whether it be the relative folder from a parent work area, meaning we could produce a subfolder right underneath the parent work area for the relative project. We could produce a relative folder based off the source file. So based off that file and where it exists, we could produce a subfolder underneath that file's location, perhaps underneath sheets. We could produce the same file into the same folder. So if it exists in a particular folder, it will reside in that folder. Or we could specify a specific folder somewhere outside of the project area altogether, perhaps even in a different data source. So let's take this opportunity then to go ahead and produce some PDFs in various locations. We'll go ahead and use our base name and model name naming convention. We'll choose the 11 by 17s and we'll start with relative folder from parent work area and click submit. And here we can see that the system is telling us if other prints are going on ahead of us so we'll know where we are in the queue. But let's right click and do it again. We'll choose 11 by 17 and we'll choose the source file location this time and hit submit. And we can notice that there's one job ahead of us now. And we'll do it yet again. Create rendition. And this time we'll use the source file folder itself. And hit submit. So now we can see there are two jobs ahead of us. And for your viewing pleasure, if we go back and go to create rendition and hit the view active jobs, this will actually show you where you are within the print queue and how long it'll take for prints to produce. So you can get an idea or a gauge of where you are in the print order and how many sheets are ahead of you. So now that we've produced our three PDFs, let's go back and take a look and see what we've got. So if we go to the parent work area folder, we can see that a new subfolder was generated called PDF with each file and its various models within each file. If we go a little deeper and go back to design, go back to our roads, drainage, we will see that we produced a PDF subfolder underneath the specified folder location since the file did reside in sheets. And we also produced files in the same source area as well. So let's take a look at our data and see what we've got. So ultimately here we have some files that could be printed with say ORD or MicroStation. And we've got our 11 by 17 print. 
conveniently placed for us in the desired locations that we suggested. If we go back and look at the subfolder underneath for PDF here, for underneath the Sheets folder, we've got our output generated just as we requested. And if we look in our third location that we asked for, as you can see, we produce the same output in all the different locations. 11 by 17 black and white sheets. Now we could have used in this situation shapes to classify those particular plots. But in this case, we use sheet models. iModel Composition Server for PDF can handle any of your various printing techniques. So this concludes the overview on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. The next video we'll provide is techniques on how to import your PLTCFG settings into a pen table when printing with the iModel Composition Server. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.